Is all the mess out of view of the camera now? I think it is. It's hard to see because the window's in front of me and it's like, hello everyone. Welcome to what will hopefully be a reading vlog. We'll just see how things go and where this video takes us. So the past few days I have been reading Not Part of the Plan by Kristen Clark and Bethany Beal. This is Trusting God with the Twists and Turns of Your Life. I started this a couple days ago and I'm on chapter four. I really like the pages that have like a verse and like a little illustration on it. There's another one. I really like those. But yeah, this is good so far and I am, I mean, it's a small book so I don't think it'll take me very long to finish, but I also am like trying to pace myself and not like rush through it because at the end of each chapter it does have like questions and little tasks for you to do like it'll say set a timer for like two minutes and write down blah 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 or what you think about this or something so i would like to do at least some of that stuff in some of the chapters so i'm trying not to just like sit and like binge read the whole thing because i want to get something out of it you know and i'm afraid if i rush through it i won't really get much out of it so i would like to take my time so i haven't started chapter four yet because i want to do the stuff it gave me to do at the end of chapter three so there's that and I'm also reading Creator's Call by Costas Iwanu, and I've been enjoying it. It's a fantasy, and I'm actually close to the end of it. I'm on, I'm reading it on my phone, and it's like, I think I'm like 80-something percent of the way through. So, getting close, but I have been enjoying it. Um, I'll talk more about it later. Yeah, those are the two books that I'm reading right now, and I do have another book that I will maybe start today. I might try to finish Creator's Call and then start this other book tomorrow after church it's saturday or i might just be so excited that i start it tonight we'll just see how my reading goes today but um i'll show you the book when it gets here i did order it um because it was on my fall tbr and my library didn't have it and i do have it downloaded on my phone it was free but i really wanted to read a physical copy of this book it's just not the same on my phone so i already own the first book in the series and I'm gonna buy all the books eventually, so I was like, I'll just go ahead and buy this one. Just this one book, it's fine. So I ordered it off Amazon. It was like $10, well, it was about $11. And so it's supposed to be arriving today. I don't know what time, but hopefully before too long. Oh, I did buy a bookcase. I'm very excited about it. I'm planning to DIY it, but it's sitting in the garage right now. I haven't started the project yet. I have to go to like, Home Depot or like Lowe's or somewhere to get like the supplies that I need um, but I'm very excited to start painting and working on the bookcase hopefully next week and I think it'll only take me like two or three days to do it once I start and then I'll put it in here and I will show you guys I will film some of the process and show you I'm very excited about it hopefully it turns out how I want also lately I have been drinking the International Delight Mocha coffee comes in like a carton that you get at the grocery store and I hate International Delight coffee creamer but this stuff is like really good in my opinion. I think the first time I tried it I wasn't like a huge fan but it grew on me and I've been drinking it every day and it's probably not a good thing. Then again it's probably fine. I think the vanilla isn't bad either. My sister thought it tasted like very artificial and like just vanilla extracty, but I thought that one was pretty good too personally. So yeah, I think that's all the updates that I want to give at the moment. I will check in with you later. My book came. It's The Defiance, uh, book three in the Delusion series. Face your fears or run. Very excited about it. I'm probably gonna start it tonight. Well. I'll probably start it tomorrow because if I start it tonight, I'll be up super late and I don't want to do that before church. Very excited that it's here. Um, also, I'm painting my nails. I like never actually do that. Also, I am editing right now. Oh, hi. I see me there. I'm just editing this video for church. This is the announcements. So what we're trying to do is make rolled ice cream and I found a recipe online that's not exact, but it's supposed to be like kind of close to rolled ice cream. So we're going to try this. So we have heavy, heavy whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. <laughs> condensed milk, you want me to hold the phone? Um, a pan to roll it out on, and a whisk, and 
we'll use this to roll it. I'm not sure exactly his measurements, but he said two parts heavy cream to one part condensed milk, but it looked like he used the whole can, so I don't know. He had two cups. This looks so gross. Kind of looks like vanilla pudding, actually. <laughs> and then we got chips away. I was wanting to do this with Oreos originally, but we ate all those. Okay, ready? Yes. Wow, yeah. So, like, basically we're just doing this and then we're going to leave. So, I don't know how many cookies. We'll just start crumbling it up, I guess. Did you wash your hands? Yeah. Okay. My crush. Chop it up. a lot longer to freeze than I thought it would. It's been in here for like 30 minutes. Don't get me in there. <laughs> it's still <laughs> liquid. <laughs> We've been waiting for like five hours. What is this? It's garbage. Maybe I mixed it wrong. I think you did. It's been in there for like, let's see, it's for like two and a half hours. <laughs> Filming on my phone in the bright sunlight makes my skin look kind of like gross. I don't know, it does something weird, but I don't feel like setting up my camera, so we're just gonna ignore that. And we're also gonna ignore this mess over here. I am here to finally give you an update about Creator's Call and like tell you what it was about and everything. It's been a little bit since I've read it at this point, so I need to like get my thoughts together to even like explain what this book is about because I just turned on my camera and I'm very unprepared. <laughs> Creator's Call is a Christian fantasy. Our main character is this teenage guy whose name I cannot recall at this moment. Owen is the guy from the other book I'm reading. This guy's name is, it's not Jeffrey. It's not Nathan, not Jackson. I feel like it starts with a J. Anyway, it's just him and his mom. He's trying to train because he wants to become a keeper, which is like they work for the king and they like protect um, the people and the kingdom. He ends up getting fired from his current job and then his house burns down. Someone close to him gets killed. A demon possessed man is like after him. So everything just like kind of falls apart at the beginning of the story. And he ends up meeting this girl named June who is like an orphan and I forget what she's doing. If she's like running away or I think she said the creator who is God, she felt like he was telling her to like go to this town and do something or whatever so she's just like trying to follow like his leading and what she feels like the creator wants her to do she ends up meeting our main character and they become friends and go on like this journey together they end up meeting this other guy whose name i don't remember this is a terrible summary they end up meeting this other man who kind of like helps them and he knows a lot about the creator. So he starts like, I guess becomes like a mentor to them and starts, um, you know, telling them about the creator and what he did for them and basically Jesus. Edward, his name is Edward. So June and Edward and then this mentor man, I don't remember his name. They are like going to where the king is so Edward can like join the keepers and stuff and they're, you know, running from the demon possessed guys and stuff and also trying to figure out like what they even want from them because they're being targeted. Like they can see that but they just don't know why. So all that's going on and there's dragons introduced, which was super fun. You guys know I really like dragons, so that's always a fun time. And there's like other like beasts and stuff that they encounter along the way. 
but yeah I thought it was good I enjoyed it um, I'm still kind of deciding if I gave it four stars but I'm still deciding if I would rather give it like three and a half stars three and a half or four I did start it and get a few chapters in and then I took a really long break from it and was like reading some other things I didn't dislike it but it just wasn't like my favorite fantasy ever, but it was still good. So I don't know. I'm still deciding on the rating. There was a lot of like kind of like preaching in the book, I guess you would say. Like basically characters like sharing the gospel a lot throughout the whole thing and like talking about and like getting saved, getting baptized, and then like learning to follow the creator and there were miracles in the book, the demon possessed, as I've mentioned before. Um, so it was like really heavy with all of that kind of stuff, which is nothing wrong with it. Um, it was just like a lot. I just kind of felt throughout the whole thing there was just a lot of like preaching kind of stuff going on, which maybe is not my favorite because like I love Christian fantasy and I do like to see some of that. I think it was just like so much throughout the book. And also Edward's change of heart seemed kind of sudden in my opinion. But again, it was still good. I would still recommend it if you really like Christian fantasy. Thank you again to the author for sending it to me. I did enjoy it and I will put up a review soon. I've just been busy. I kind of forgot about it until like just now actually that I haven't reviewed it yet, but I will do that. So now I'm reading The Defiance and I'm in the middle of a chapter, chapter six right now, but I am very much enjoying this one and it's yeah it's good so far we're into november now this vlog has been going on for quite a while i just haven't really been good about reading or vlogging at all so we're still going and i didn't do all the things in this vlog that i was wanting to do but what can you do i wanted to finish this one like before halloween and i didn't get around to doing it but it's still fall and still a good time to like read something kind of creepy like this. I don't know. I don't think I've talked about this. So anyway, this is book three in the Delusion series. It says it right at the top. It's about this guy named Owen. Because of some stuff that happened in book one, he can now see into the spiritual realm and he can see demons and how they are affecting the people around him and affecting his town. His town is like a hub for like demonic activity. And so there's always a lot going on there. And now in this one, he has, I'm at the point where he's just been introduced because he kind of defeated a demon in the last book. And now there's more that have just like come into the picture. So there were different spirits. The um, spirit of slumber has come into his town. Uh, the spirit of addiction, the spirit of despair, and the spirit of strife. So four different spirits. Him and his girlfriend ran. They're trying to, to save the people around them to lead them to the truth before it's too late and banish these evil demonic spirits from their city for good. Yeah, it's really good so far. I like it a lot. Um, I've loved the other two books in the series. So if you are into like um, reading about spiritual warfare and that interests you, um, or if it's something you've never tried before, I would highly recommend this series. It really makes you think and opens your eyes to like stuff that's going on around you. It's something you tend to like forget about that there's a very real world of angels and demons out there all around us all the time just in another like realm another dimension and you just don't see it you're not aware of it but it's it's going on and there's actual like warfare in that world and the spirits are like affecting people and making them do things and influencing them but there's also on the other side of that there is you know the angels protecting god's people and fighting those demons and yeah, it just like really makes you think and I just find it really fascinating. So definitely something I would recommend trying. I almost forgot I'm not part of the plan. I'm not sure what my last update was, but I'm now on chapter five. So I haven't read a whole lot of it and I still haven't really done any of the things that it gives you to do at the end of the chapters because I never feel like it. And that's why I haven't really read anymore is because I really want to do that because I want to get the most out of this book that I can. So I just haven't been reading it at all. I need to take the haunting back to the library because I'm pretty sure it's overdue now and I'm not sure how many cents a day it is for every day that it's late but I'm racking up those fees again and that's not good because I just paid them off a few months ago.
going to be my last update of the vlog. So, The Defiance. I finished it, it was really good. I think I gave it five stars. I just wanted to say like, these books really exaggerate things because it is fiction. So to make it like more fun and entertaining and interesting, you know, like there's, there's a lot going on. Like there's the occults and there's curses and there's like, these demonic monsters and like all this stuff happening. And I'm like, I don't necessarily like think everything in the book is like, yeah, that stuff's going on all the time. Like obviously it's fiction. So like she's trying to make it really exciting, like over the top stuff going on sometimes. So I don't maybe believe everything to the degree that it's in the book. It's just like, it's fiction, it's entertainment, but I do believe in spiritual warfare. I do believe in angels and demons, but yeah, I just wanted to like say that. Also, so I don't know why I thought this. I don't know if I read this somewhere or I just assumed it, but I thought it was just gonna be a trilogy and I thought The Defiance was the last book in the trilogy, but the way it ended, I'm like, there has to be a fourth book. More needs to happen and it can't just end like that. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a fourth book, maybe a fifth book. I don't know how many books are gonna be in the series, but there definitely has to be another one. I'm hoping, you guys let me know if you know anything about the series, I don't know, but like there has to be. Like she can't just leave it like that. I'm gonna be like really unhappy. Yeah, really good series, highly recommend. Also, before I end this vlog, because it's about to end, I promise. I know it's been kind of long and I apologize for that. On the way home from church, me and my mom stopped at Home Depot and I got my chalk paint. And then I also got some furniture wax. And I'm gonna try to film the process and do like a little video maybe. We'll see how that goes, but I'm very excited. I got my supplies finally with that. Being said, I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Thank you guys very much for watching. Sorry it wasn't more interesting. And I'll see you guys in my next Bookish Ramblings video. Bye.